course, we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. 40-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. This is no battle of wits between you and me. I never pick on an unarmed man. Another body and dear to mother's ring. The Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. What exactly did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass, Phelps? Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. Coroner says it's going to take at least a week to get an ID. I think his name is Phelps. I read about him in the paper. Yeah, I want to make homicide. You know, you've got it made if you can get to that desk. You've got to admit, this is looking odd. Anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators... Cole, Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's groundkeeper. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set up. Car 11 King, go ahead with the further. 11 King, two 459 suspects sighted in the vicinity of the trolley station on Lucas Avenue between Court and Colton. You should have iced those folks. You leave no witnesses, you stay out of the park. Not riding all the way to Santa Ana and then on to Cincinnati with you pissing in my but ear. But I'm tired of always being on the lam. I don't have a choice. A stick-up charge is still a stick-up charge, and I ain't going back inside. You're both coming with me. Don't do anything stupid. You gotta get me closer! I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck.
Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in clothes. Show me your hands. Car 11K calling KGPL. Code 4 at the Lucas Avenue trolley station. The 459 suspects are in custody. Roger, 11K. All units, code 4 on the 459 suspects at the Lucas Avenue trolley station. GPL to all units. Citizen reports man with a gun. Union and Rockwood Street. Union and Rockwood Street. Get it to handle code 2. Identify. to all units. Citizen reports man with a gun. Union and Rockwood Street. Union and Rockwood Street. Get it to handle code 2. Identify. 11K, go ahead. 11 King. Citizen reports man with a gun at the intersection of Union Avenue and Rockwood Street. 11 King, code 2.
damn it. I said cough it up. I'm not going to say it again. Say for Kaya. Do my yeah. That's it, old man. I've had enough of your gibberish. Give it up, LAPD. Hands off the merchandise. Hurry, you can still catch him. You can get him. Give him one for me. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Have it some Pepsi. Get me out of here. Lock him up and throw away the key. Every man for himself. There he is. See him? Up ahead, you make a right.
How can I help you boys? Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I going to get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are going to leave me short. How much did you give him? Fifty bucks. Try another number. Twenty? Try ten. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. What's this mark here? Maker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Does this mark mean anything? All mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. We have a problem. We could have the local troopers check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. The perp is having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that one? Percy Bish Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. If the Dahlia letters are genuine, then the man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Muller. And how do we prove that, Phelps? No. Skipper ain't gonna like this one bit. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity.
You boys ready? Follow me. We should keep this development with the ring under our hat until we speak with the captain. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, Phelps. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? I get it. Hard, isn't it? Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temporal nose and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. The smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell, but it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Nice day, gentlemen. Hey, can you give me a hand? I got a hard case I need to break. We could go over to the lot and see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. Someone was trying to get her to come home. Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. this gadget whiz guy putting recording devices into place for me. This is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's an angle worth investigating. What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up.
Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Classic Carmine. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. Did you take any money? It wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick in her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I could tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... T Clyde, can you get this sack of shit into a cell? I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest door to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, Detective. Closest door would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks for your help. Read that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay, then. Armies can't fight without food. You spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving?
Bring Phelps. Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers, what is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Uh, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. <laughs>